we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Living Father, by this dawn's help, help us to be victors. May the darkness in our families depart. By, by a bright light, may this country save the world. Thank you for calling us for this precious work. For what reason could we depart from Christ? May we surely be slaves. May we serve. Help us to realize that we are maggots. Whatever trial, help us to hear your voice, which is for us to be humbled. May we repent without ceasing to become a blessed man. We believe that surely our desires will be fulfilled. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15. Let's find that. So there are those people who are doing four-step repentance thoroughly and yet they're still not doing well. Don't forget it's because you're still holding on to an enemy. So you repent, you forgive, but then straight after you're like, oh, that enemy that deserves death. And so then you... Then you hold on to it again. So you keep going outside of Christ again and again. So God says he'll help you. You say you want help, but it's because you don't forgive others. Forgiveness is not easy. If you don't know yourself, you can't forgive. But when you know that you're a maggot, you can forgive. But the moment that you forget, you're like that bad person. If you have some grumblings, complainings, it's be then you also have unforgiveness. So as you repent, look back. Why is it that I'm like this these days? Because you're holding on to something again. There's something that you're not forgiving. You're holding on to, oh, I'm saddened. How could that happen? So you're outside of Christ. And, you're, and then you're like, but why am I not doing well? Well, I went out. So God says you have to love your enemy to have faith. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. So Matthew chapter 6, it starts out by, by uh, Matthew chapter 5. It talks about holding hands with God. If your heart is pure, then you meet God and... If you bring about peace, you'll be sons of God. And, and it's saying we have to love our enemies. That's what's pointed out. And then in Matthew chapter 6, it says if you don't forgive others, you can never be forgiven. So this is straight after the Lord's Prayer. So it seems like you forgive others. But if you look inside of your heart, if you don't have joy, you're holding on to something. You know, you could, you're holding on to yourself, not forgiving yourself, saying someone like me. Well, if you washed yourself with the blood of Christ, you'd go the good way, but you end up grumbling against others, making excuses because of others. It's all because you don't forgive yourself. Oh, I can't do well. And you're holding on to these things. You look at people who don't do well, they're, they're, they're holding on to themselves. Behind that, you dig deeper, and it's because they're hold, holding on to unforgiveness of others. So if, so that's when your personality, your children's personalities do not change. So what's appearing in front of us? If you, if you go and find out, it's all because of unforgiveness. And it's all related to what's beneficial to me, seeking my profit. And that's why Philippians chapter 3, verse 7, for Christ. You have to see all profit for yourself as loss. Let's find Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 and read it. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Amen. So in order to receive forgiveness, we all do four-step repentance with the blood of Christ. But if I don't forgive others, the Father will never forgive me. So if you're, wherever you've hidden it, you know, if you're holding on to something, 
when you do forced air repentance, it's all just going through the the form, the formula of it. But but if you don't know yourself, you ca cannot forgive. If if you realize it's me that's the bad person, if you realize that it's all for me, so you have to know yourself. But you just see enemies as as the ones that deserve to die. So if you look at these television dramas, you look at people who don't do well, they're all holding on to something. You don't see people forgiving others. And so within these dramas, novels, poems, according to God's word, you know, if you if you did according to God's word, then it would be, you know, a world a world famous standard. But but the dramas that are all beastly, where it's all just about talking what happens within the kitchen or that's why we can't go anywhere near the Nobel Prize, especially Korea. You know, who is it that doesn't have envious and jealousy? Because we're all of the flesh, but those countries that are based on this word for thousands of years, they can easily forgive others. They're good at doing that. In America, even if someone puts the cross upside down and, you know, you can't call them a heretic. Otherwise, you're going to have to give up all your money. But in our country, as soon as someone's a little bit different to me, we call them a heretic. That's because our people, we lived as Buddhists and you know, we're still not human. And so Japan's gotten near the Nobel Prize, but we're nowhere near the Nobel Prize. So they say, you know, the taxi drivers in, our, in Korea, we sent them to Japan to learn, but it still didn't work. No matter how much you put, you know, ash on, black ash on someone, as soon as you shake them, their real inside comes out. So our... Our biggest faults are that uh, our envies, jealousies. That was from the Li dynasty. So if the royal family was like that, then all the people are like that. And so all they did was accuse others. That's how you become lame. If you read uh, Proverbs chapter 26, if you tattle on others, you know, you become lame. So Europe and England, you know, in their, in their normal lives, that's what they hear all the time. So they have the strength to just control themselves. So Japan went to England to learn. So England, which has the roots put down of God's love, you know, we've, we're, you know, this this gospel in our country, have we done it properly? It's only been 100 years, and yet we have 400 denominations. 200 registered, 200 non-registered. So there's the statistics that you hear from in Seoul, the, the Christian um, journalist. So how sad is this? There's nothing that we have except dividing into smaller and smaller pieces. So it's completely different to the Bible. So then after you hear this, you're like, then all this time was I a fake? Yes. If you live like that, you didn't have faith, but you act as if you did. And so we were all fake church goers. So then should we just die like that? No, we have to live. We have to save this country. So we have to give thanks to God for giving us this mystery. So why doesn't this work? Because we don't forgive others. If you forgive others, then denominations disappear. You won't, you won't make denominations. Why are there denominations? Because you don't forgive others. Why do siblings break up? because they can't forgive each other. If you forgive, you become one, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 10. So if something's not doing well, it's because you're not forgiving, you're holding on to something. If you keep repenting and looking back, you'll see you're holding on to something. So what appears before me? It may be disease or my wealth disappears or my children, my spouse, we have bad relationships. But if you look behind it, you're holding on to something. That person deserves to die. And it, that all appears as, 
you know, mental health problems or no wealth or your children tormenting you. So if you're, if you're released of that, everything else is released. So we have to forgive. The first thing that the Father gives us is that we have to forgive others. Because of that, we don't, if we don't do that, we don't do well. So the mystery of Christ, do you know how precious it is? What is beneficial to me? You know, in 10,000 ways, that person seems wrong. I seem right. And you say, oh, it's unfair. You know, they're so ungrateful. But whatever is profitable to me, I have to see that as loss. Let's find Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. So God, for my sake, he appeared in the flesh through his son, Jesus Christ, and he died for me. When you think about that love, he gave, he's the one that gives us all blessings. So if something's not do, doing well, then I'm holding on to something. I'm saddened. How could they do that to me? How ungrateful. Let's, let's wait and see what happens to you. If you look at um, Yi Song Gay's family, they're holding on to everything because of these envyings and jealousies. You know, you look at how these secondary wives, the queens, you know, the, the queens passion so if you don't want to become like that you have to go inside of christ and become new but in that royal family the maid servants the concubines how many of those women died because of a jealous queen if the king even laid a hand on some woman within one or two days that woman's disappeared that was the royal family so Murder was just so commonplace. But murder, God says he'll kill you exactly because what you sow, you have to reap. So our people ended up suffering under the Japanese. What we did, we had to receive exactly. So we say the Japanese are so bad. No, it's because we did evil things, filthy things. So if we've realized this, what is profitable to me, don't seek that. If you see something as profitable to yourself, you have to realize you're outside of Christ. What is beneficial to me, then that is, that is surely outside of Christ. That's what this word says. So grumblings and um, arguings, it's all because something's not profitable to me. But if you're thankful for what is lost to you, then you wouldn't have this. So let's read Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Amen. Let's read it again. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Amen. So whatever it is, whatever is gain for me, for four-step repentance, what do you treat it as? Why? Because as soon as you hold on to that profit, you can't go inside of Christ. It's when something isn't beneficial to me. That's when you grumble, you make excuses. Oh, I can't live with that person. But if you see gain as loss, then you wouldn't do that. In other words, you're not pleasing yourself. That's when you shine as someone in Christ. You do well. So if you're shining, that's a man. You're a son of God. This is a living faith where you're going to heaven. So worldly things, you have to rule over control. But if you're tied to that, don't ruin your life like that. But we're all within our greed. That, that greed, you seek your gain. And that's why within your family, your enemies, you know, things aren't happening to my greed. So you end up, you end up abusing yourself, gambling and, and drinking alcohol. It's because you hate yourself. If there's too much greed, you end up hating yourself. But this is not something that I can do. But if I realize who I am, I'm not a man, I'm a, I'm a worm. If you realize, oh, a, a, a worm like me, to have these thoughts, so then you keep becoming lower. If one person becomes low, then everyone else follows. If your light 
then everyone else follows. Psalms chapter 22, verse 6, and that's why he says, just you believe, Acts chapter 16, verse 31, you become light because then they're all drawn to the light and then all your family is saved. It's God who does that. So who is it you haven't been able to forgive? Oh, I've forgiven everyone. No, there's something there. You see people who aren't in Christ. If your children aren't doing well, if your family's not doing well, you've gone to the darkness. If you're in the darkness, you're holding on to something. But you know what's funny? If you're living with, if someone who lived with a tall man and they, they suffered, then... So someone who's startled by a turtle will be startled by a pot lid. This is because you haven't been able to fully forgive. So you look at spouses. Someone marries a short person if they're tall. If you're fat, you'll marry someone thin. Why? Because you try to seek someone that's opposite to your enemy. So if your mother was fat, then the mother-in-law will be thin. As the mother in as the daughter in law grows up, then she's gonna So where does this all come from? It comes from not forgiving others. It's because you have this grudge. But if everything's forgiven, you're not interested in any of that. So if I was startled about something, someone I couldn't stand, and you're like, Oh, that person resembles that person, you haven't forgiven. So if you can't stand your husband and you see your children resembling your the the husband, then even the, uh, the, the own the mother will hate their own eldest son, and that's how the hierarchy all crumbles down in the family. You see, Lee Song Yi Song Gay, even though he had um, healthy elder sons, he put his his second concubine's um, second wife's sons first, and so that's how his their family like that. So there's something in my heart that I'm holding on to. So if that means you you don't have smiles, God hasn't given you that light. Someone who can smile, who can live with peace, that's someone who's forgiven everything. Why is that person, even though they're doing forced state repentance, why is their face so stiff? Because they're still holding on to the filthy things in their family. And where does that come out? Even if someone's dying next to them, they pretend they don't know and just go past. That's that's exactly they they never help others. And if they do, they're calculating. If I help like this, you know, this is the profit I'll get back. So they're evil. They're the 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 Pharisees, the high priests. We can't be like that. If we forgive everyone, we're not like that. Everyone becomes becomes my brothers, my my mother, they become part of my body. So you say you don't have it, you do. The things that you can't stand in your spouse, they're things you haven't forgiven. If you don't want to meet your parents, you haven't forgiven. Amongst your children, if you say, oh, he resembles so-and-so, that's, not, that's, that's unforgiveness. If you dig deeper, you haven't forgiven. Some people will say, Oh, that person resembles so-and-so. I like them so much. It's because you haven't forgiven that you like that person even more. If you say, oh, I like this so much, it's because you've hidden some, some unforgiveness and you're partial. You've become partial. What is a beast? They're always like with like. Oh, I always like a person like this. You know... When you see this uh, matchmaking for marriages, people who say, "Oh, I like this style," they're people who haven't, who have so much unforgiveness. Oh, I only like these people, not that type of people. It's because they're holding on to unforgiveness, yet they don't know. Oh, I like this type of person already. They're saying everyone else they hate, so they are holding on to that, but they they don't know. Oh, when my wife, when I married my wife, she was so thin. After having kids, she's so fat. I don't like her now. So you're tied on, on you've, you're tied up to something. There's something you haven't forgiven. So today we have to forgive all of that. Let's go inside of Christ and let's have a start as a blessed man. Let's become light. Let's give this light to others. Let's close our eyes quietly. Who is it that you haven't forgiven? Who is it that you're still holding on to? Oh, I don't like this type of person. Well, you haven't forgiven. Oh, I don't like that type of person. You haven't forgiven. Oh, 
that woman's a, she's an adulterer, so I don't like it. Yes, that's because it's inside of you. Because she resembles you, that's why you can't stand her. And that's why you have to say, Father, starting from me, please forgive me because... So it's starting from me. Starting from me, we have to be released. Oh, my husband. Oh, yes, he's just, you know, he's, I, I don't like his white face. You know, we, we have to forgive because I have to live. I have to live. It's by having a relationship with God that, be, that I become light. It's by the blood of Christ. It's by grace that it can happen. We can never have. Anyone that we can't stand in the world, we have to re be released of all this. Everything that I hate, I'm tied up to that. When God created everything, he said it's all good. Why is it you're saying, oh, I don't like it? Then there's something wrong with me. I haven't found the image of Christ. Let's forgive everything. Let's forgive everything. If we do this, then Korea will become one. Our families will become one. My heart's at peace. It will be one heart so you're at peace. God says he'll help us at dawn. Why don't I do well? Because you're still holding on to someone you cannot stand, that you hate. So we can't have this. Oh, my mother, she was the second wife. And so, you know, you look, the Confucian way of thinking. The second wife wasn't even treated as a person. Hong Gil Dong, he had that, that bitterness inside of him. All of these things kill us. Let's have, let's forgive everything. Even that person is someone that God loves. I'm someone that God loves. So whoever it is. So this bitterness is what our ancestors did. We have to forgive. Oh, when my mother lived, I can't forget that those bitterness, that bitterness she had. No, we have to forgive all of that. We have to forgive. This is the time where I die and I live again. So if you live again, why can't you forgive others? Let's forgive everything and let's go the way of becoming a blessed man. Father God, we've lived so wrongly. Why is it that I say I'm doing four-step repentance and yet I don't do well? Because I'm, there's still so many things I'm holding on to, so many resentments and, and sadnesses, and how could this be? Oh, I can never forgive that. Oh, looking anything like that, it makes me startled. Today, may we end all this. Whatever is beneficial to me, help us to realize it's, it's actually harmful. So in Christ, may we, have a, may we have a new start. May we receive all your blessings. May we surely receive your help. The whole day, may we be victorious. If we only seek our own benefit, help us not to be tied up to things. Seeking up to the, seeking our profit, may we not be tied up to things, but we, may we cut it all off and fix our destiny. By this dawn's help, we believe our destinies will be fixed. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's forgive everything. Oh, I didn't sadden them. It's so unfair to me. No, we have to forgive everything. Let's forgive everything and receive help. Let's forgive everything and receive help. Oh, I like my eldest, but not my youngest. Let's forgive everything. <laughs>